hello investors my name is Dehan. welcome back to another one place for all your investing needs in today's video we're going to be looking at three top altcoins to buy right now so in the past 24 hours we've been seeing a slight recovery once again the market is up about 0.85 percent so almost one percent on the upside top gainers here in the past 24 hours are going to be cosmos so actually that is one we've talked about in the past it is up about 42.28 percent right now just in the past 24 hours doing very nice Highest volume, like usual, Bitcoin. Right behind it, we have Ethereum. So Bitcoin's up about 1.3%, trading around this 46 to 47,000 area, which we've pretty much been trading around for the past month or so. So this dip really just brought us back to where we were. Pretty much same pattern with Ethereum, trading around this 3,500 area. It's uh, flat on the 24-hour chart. Down here, we can see everything else is up about 5 to 15% depend depending on the coin. Cardano, 5% higher. Binance, 5% higher. Ripple here exploding up 10%. Solana taking a little bit of a cool off, finally down about 9%, under 200 once again. Then we have some other ones up 15, 12%. And then obviously, depending on which coin we're talking about, most of them are in the green right now, with obviously some of them being up higher than others. So there's always opportunities out there to be found. You just have to go out and find them. So guys, before we get into this countdown, smash that like button for me. Let's aim for 150 plus likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel. We just hit 42,000 thousand subscribers so subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notifications to get notified every time we make a new video and as always if you want to sign up for webull get your two free stocks valued up to twenty three hundred dollars links come in the description for that as well and leave a comment below letting me know what do you think is going to happen in the crypto market in the upcoming month so the first altcoin on our list is going to be avalanche so avalanche right here avax is going to be a momentum play so momentum play once again this one was a uh, very explosive a few weeks ago it continued to go up higher and higher day in and day out and then obviously we saw a little bit of a pullback in a consolidation time period now this one is up about 24.5 percent in the past 24 hours trading at 45 dollars from lows of 37 dollars down here in the past week it's down four percent in the past month, it is up 181%. Like I said, this one was uh, you know, on an uptrend here in August, going all the way up to about highs of over $58 or so in August 24th. Then we saw it consolidate and pull back down, obviously, with the rest of the market. On the one-year chart, we are still up 356% from lows of $9 all the way to highs, like we said, to $58. So huge gains were made there, uh, about a what, like a you know 5x or so, I guess you could say. So here, all-time highs were, was around $60 in February. We weren't able to break through that, and we bounced back down. So market cap currently being on Avalanche at $9 billion. This one is definitely one of those momentum plays that I'm going to be uh, you know, watching very closely. I think uh, with this momentum, it could continue to go higher and break through all-time highs for itself. Volume in the past 24 hours at $1.3 billion with the circulating supply at around $220.3 million. So this is definitely an interesting one. Um, it's kind of going to be one of our momentum plays. Like we said, we always talk about different things on the channel. And momentum plays can sometimes be something that we talk about on the channel. One we recently talked about for a momentum play was Algorand right here. So Algorand was a momentum play as well. And as you guys can see, it's been you know hitting highs here of about 250 at one point. But if you take a look at the chart, look at the chart, guys. It's just been explosive on higher and higher. So, you know, that's another momentum play we talked about. And Avalanche seems to be a similar pattern here. So even Solana took actually a huge, uh, you know, uptrend like this in the past as well. So Avalanche is definitely one I would be adding to my radar to see how it's going to perform in the upcoming days and see if it continues to go higher and higher and make all-time highs obviously past that $60 mark. So that's our first altcoin on the list. Second altcoin is going to be BNB, also known as Binance Coin. So Binance Coin doing very nice here in the past 24 hours, up about 5.9%. In the past week, it's down 10% from highs of almost $500 here, $505 here. Uh, pulled back down to lows of $372, and then it came back up to about $435 right now. So Huge pullback with the market, came back, consolidated, and now we're back on that uptrend. In the past uh, month right here, this one is up about 22% still. So even with this pullback, this one is still in the green. In the past year, it is up about 1,674% performing very well but we're still far away from this high that we saw here at 690 dollars in may so we've been consolidating here for a little bit then we saw this uptrend now the market we had a flash crash happen a few days ago pulled back down slightly and now we're waiting for this uptrend once again uh we still have a lot of upside obviously to get back to those all-time highs uh, close to 700 dollars per coin so let's see what happens there 
Uh, the stats right here, market cap 70.8 billion right now in Binance coin. Volume the past 24 hours has been very nice at 2.4 billion with the circulating supply at 168.1 million. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with Binance coin, which you should be because it's one of the top coins out there in the market, Binance coin is a cryptocurrency used to pay fees on the Binance cryptocurrency exchange. Fees paid in Binance coin on the exchange receive a discount. So this is definitely one of those you know popular coins, uh, one that people are, feel has a less risk, I guess you could say, compared to some of these other altcoins that are high risk, high reward, and can you know fly up and down very very quickly. But then again. We saw a coin like Ethereum drop down 22-23% during that flash crash within an hour. So if you really think about it, is anything really safe in the crypto market? Personally, uh, not really. I don't think so. It's a high risk, high reward. Like I keep saying, uh, you know, your money could pretty much go down, like I said, 25% in a day, just like we saw with Ethereum on that flash crash. So uh, crypto is obviously dangerous and something that you don't want to invest something that you're not willing to lose. So it's something that you want to play with uh, only what you're willing to lose. And, you know, the risk is there. So Binance coin, second coin on that list. Uh, third coin on the list is going to be Uniswap, UNI. So this one has been you know underperforming the rest of the market in my opinion right now in the past 24 hours it is up about 2.6 percent trading at almost 24 dollars in the past week down 20 percent we saw it reach 30 dollars came back down to 20 dollars that is a huge drop right there it's a 33 percent drop in a matter of you know what an hour or two right there pretty much an hour so a 30 percent drop in an hour came back up consolidated here, if we take a look on the one month chart down 15 percent one year chart it is still up 673 percent which is great, obviously, for Uniswap, but all-time high here was at around $45 or so. Uh, you know, it's lagging behind the rest of these other altcoins that are kind of having explosive momentum going on upside. This one is kind of uh, still trading at this range, and it's not really making any hot moves right now. It's uh, kind of uh, slowing down, I guess you could say, and we're going to be looking for this one to have a uh, momentum play in the future. So we're trying to catch this one before the run, uh, which is something that obviously is a lot smarter than catching something that's already running because that one has probably already made a lot of its gains and something like uniswap is taking its time slow and steady wins the race could have an explosive you know uptrend in the future and that's what we're looking to catch so 14.4 billion market cap right now 632.9 million volume if we take a look here trading activity 62 percent buy 38 percent sell and uh, typical hold time is around 28 days so that's another interesting fact right there Uniswap is an Ethereum token that powers Uniswap and an automated liquidity provider that's designed to make it easy to exchange Ethereum uh, tokens. There's no order book or central facilitator on Uniswap. Instead, tokens are exchanged through liquidity pools that are defined by the smart contracts. So Uniswap is definitely one of those coins I would be interested in. You guys can check out their website and check out more uh, you know, information on the coin and see if it fits your criteria and if you think it's going to go up in the future or not. 14.44 billion market cap. Still plenty, plenty of uh, room for growth in the future. So that's our third altcoin. Now what we're going to do, guys, is gonna, we're going to discuss the rest of the market and see how everything else is performing. So first off, let's talk about Bitcoin. So BTC here up about 1.3%, trading around this 47,000 area, like we said. Hit those highs right there, pulled back down. In the past week, it's down about 5% almost from 53,000 all the way to 42,000 in a blink of an eye here, and then came back up to 46, 47,000. What I think happened here is uh, some big whales must have sold off very, very quickly. Things got triggered, other people started selling off, and then when people realized that it was way oversold right there very quickly, they started to buy that dip and everything shot back up. So if you bought that dip, you, you were pretty quick to buy that dip, and uh, that, that was a great opportunity, obviously, for anybody that get, did get on that dip. But uh, it was very, very oversold right there very quickly. So people started to you know jump on in. So there's always that buying opportunity. In the past month, it's up 1%. So pretty much if you bought a month ago, you would have made 1%. It's pretty much just trading sideways. In the past year, 352%. Still doing very well, obviously. We're about 100 or actually we're, uh, we're down actually about what? 18,000 from the all-time high. So we still have a lot more upside. Um, you know, this pullback did kind of hinder things. We were on a roll and now we're kind of coming back. And also we had the legalization of that Bitcoin with the countries going on. Uh, I believe it was El Salvador. So different things are going on right now that are pulling back the market. Market cap, 872.6 billion. Typical hold time, 85 days. Uh, right here, trading activity, 70% buy, 30% sell. And obviously it's the most popular coin. Ethereum at number two trading at 3500 flat on the day in the past week down seven percent from that four thousand area 
pulled back down to 3,000. That is a huge 25% drop right there. Boom. Drop down 25%. In the past month, it's up 10% still. In the past year, 850%. So right here, we saw it jump from 3,200 to 4,000 in a matter of about you know two or three days, which was a huge drop. Pulled back down to 3,500. So we're still above that 3,200 level that we were trading just about a week ago. So this 3,500 level is still beautiful in my opinion, and I don't even mind this you know pullback that we saw. So this is okay with me. Uh, you know we don't want to see it you know get overbought like it was here in April where it just shot on higher and higher. Here we saw that you know pretty much same pattern. It shot up very high very quickly, $800 in a matter of two or three days. So I'm actually glad that it pulled back down a little bit to let it cool off. 405.1 billion um, you know market cap 34 or 24 billion volume right there 81 typical hold time day and then the trading activity 65% buy 35% sell uh, you know ethereum is right behind there with bitcoin and then if we take a look down here actually with uh, doge how is doge performing i know a lot of you meme holders love to see this one so 33.3 billion market cap on doge it is pretty much flat on the past 24 hours. In the past week, it's down 12% with that drop from 31 cents all the way down to about 21 cents. Huge 33% drop right there. In the past month, it's flat and in a one-year chart up 9,000%. But Doge has not been performing well, well, in my opinion, in this bull cycle that we're seeing. Trading activity, 60% buy, 40% sell, 51-day typical hold time. But obviously, it is a cheaper coin, so a lot more people are willing to hold it uh, compared to some of the other stuff. But... Guys, what do we think is going to happen going into the weekend right now? Um, you know, we're not really sure. Hopefully, we're hoping for a green weekend, but you never know what's going to happen. Um, you know, it's not a holiday weekend, so that's a positive sign. That means maybe more people will be trading instead of, you know, sitting on their yachts or whatever else they're doing out there. So leave a comment below. Let me know what do you think is going to happen with crypto in the upcoming month? Are we going to come back to those highs that we were at just, uh, you know, a few days ago or is this going to take some time to come back up smash that like button guys for me let's say for 150 plus likes subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification so you're notified every time we can do a video and as always if you guys want to get your two free stocks valued up to 2300 dollars, check out the link in the description for webull also guys i'm not a financial advisor so none of this is financial advice this is all for entertainment purposes only speak to your financial advisor do your own due diligence before investing into crypto or the stock market because it is a high risk high reward type situation and don't invest into something that you don't understand i hope you guys enjoy and have a great weekend see you next time